Hi, welcome to my uh, program. This week we want to talk about uh, Egyptian uh, President uh, Sisi uh, visit uh, to Ankara. And uh, what does it mean for the region, to Egypt, to Ankara, and even to Palestine and, and um, what more? So let's, uh, without any further delay, let's start. So this is visit to Ankara means a lot and means nothing. It means because um, Egypt also uh, find it necessary to fix the relations between two nations. Uh, when the Sisi took over the administration from uh, Morsi, President Morsi, who has been executed by Sisi administration, and the relations get sort. Uh, Erdogan took a position uh, beside Muris, Mursis, and after he had died or passed away, uh, even uh, there was a Salah in uh, Turkish uh, mosques where uh, he was announced mortar, which is like uh, died for the religion and died for the country. And it meant a lot to Erdogan that Sisi was not his friend. But however, the, 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 the time has passed and the necessities has arisen because of especially uh, Israel's occupation to Gaza. Israel is now pushing uh, the Palestinians into uh, Jordan and also to Egypt. They want to clean the area from the Palestinians. Now it becomes more and more feasible to Muslim world that the Jewish or the Jewish state is now killing the Muslims. Now this is beyond the terrorism or the self-defense against the terrorism, but for most Muslims it becomes an action against the Muslims. Therefore, this pressure both nation leaders are feeling now and they need to take position. So in that regard, uh, creating a coalition against uh, an Israeli occupation to Gaza or the killings of Muslims in Gaza is important and is good news, to be honest. It is so slow that they are taking major, uh, steps. It's like trying to um, put down the pressure in the countries, in respective countries, but it is still something but not enough. Uh, I believe in the future about this topic more uh, Muslim nations will come across the table and will put pressure. But it's already late, to be honest. But let's put it aside. When it comes to also um, Egypt, Egypt has been passing through a very difficult uh, economic crisis. Uh, even Turkey is, has been passing through, but the Turkey's problem is structural and can be fixed. Egypt problems is much more deeper. All technology, no financing, even the wheat they can, or the grains they cannot, they have to buy, let's say, from abroad. I mean, in Roman Empire, or even the Ottoman Empire, Egypt was the, the, the warehouse, the, 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 uh, the, the trail of, uh, or the warehouse of the grains for the uh, empires, for the Ottoman Empire and for the Roman Empire. At this moment, the Egypt state has to buy grain from other countries. There is no investment to the technologies. The Turkish even the textile uh, factories or industry uh, zones are now moving their assets from Turkey to Egypt. But the technology, it means that the technology is not there and the corruption is too high that uh, the people are running out of the countries. The, the difference between Turkeys and the Egyptians are the Turkish problem is more structural. And if Erdogan administration could be switched, which will happen eventually within or before, at most 2028, I think 26 likely, there is a now a chance for that. It depends on the program of JEPA, but we will talk about it later in the further uh, program. Uh, then there's a, cha a chance that uh, Turkey is going to uh, apply these structural changes, which is going to help the Turkish economy to stand again on its own feet. But Egypt cannot do that. The administration is not going to be switched. Uh, in order to retain the power, Sisi has found that, that it is important to hold its own men on these vital positions, which is causing also uh, weakening the economy. 
and, and the population increase is not helping also uh, Egypt. Therefore, uh, Egypt problem cannot be fixed in the shorter term. Whereas in Turkey, uh, the people are uh, investing on the technology. There is a technology advancement in the country, so it can be raised. Therefore, Egypt is a little bit harder in, in economic crisis than, I would say, Turkey. Also, there is a water problem between Ethiopia and Egypt, which Turkey can be a good negotiator since Turkey has a perfect relations almost with e uh, Ethiopia. Also, Turkey has a very much bigger interest in the uh, African horn, uh, or horn, horn of Africa. Uh, therefore, Turkey's uh, and uh, Egypt's um, relations getting at least to neutral is beneficial to both countries and is a necessity. It's not because they like each other, because it arises from necessities. But when it comes to how it might be, can it be better like in before the crisis happened between both countries? No, it will not happen. Because Turkey has a very much different uh, now a position and a role or an eye in the region than Egypt or most of the Arab states. Uh, so there will be a controlled mechanism between two countries where they are going to keep an eye on it itself, even though they might create a coalition to Israel and other things, which is going to be beneficial for both countries. But still, they will keep an eye on it, it's, uh, on themselves, on each other's. So this is it was not because they like each other, but because a necessity has reason. And when this will uh, gone, I believe the old uh, relations will be again back, where Turkey and Egypt will be on, I will say, sore relations. So let me know what you think about it, and uh, we will see you in this next program. Have a nice day. Bye.